Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pulleen and this week I'm going to show you my all new structure for 2021. Now the last couple of weeks in December I have been cleaning up my Evernote, restructuring it and making it work better, ready for the start of 2021 and I have pretty much completed that project now. So what I want to do is to show you just an outline, an overview of how I have it structured. I'm also going to link to the actual structure, which is the Para System by Tiago Forte. Para stands for Projects, Areas, Resources and Archive. I'm going to link to the blog post that Tiago did about this so you can learn more about how you too can set up your Evernote in the same way. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say, if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Evernote, then please subscribe to my channel. OK, let me take you into my real Evernote account now and I'll show you the outline of my structure. OK, so here we have my notebook structure. Now, the way I structure my notebooks is based on Tiago Forte's para system. That's projects, P, areas, A, R, which is resources, and A is archive, so para, P-A-R-A. Now, essentially, projects are probably self-explanatory, and I have covered a how I do simple projects and more complex projects. And I have my seven projects at the moment in there right now. And they can drop down here. So I've got my fitness objectives, which is actually a project right now because I really need to get that moving. I've got a house move, which is going to be coming up later this year. I'm also updating the email mastery course. So these are my various uh, projects that I'm currently working on. These are the ones that I'm working on. This one particularly here, this is just a simple project. This is area for simple projects that don't need a specific notebook. They just need a single note. But there's only one in there at the moment. So that's my project. So these, like for my fitness objectives, I've got one note in here, but I can add other notes, other resources like training programs and stuff at a later date as I get moving. So that's my projects. In here, I've got my areas. Now, my areas, as you can see, are 12 different areas because I actually include a few additional things other than the regular stuff. So I've got my coaching, content, which is the content creation, CPI is my company, health and fitness, is an area as well as a project. An area because health and fitness is something that I am always going to be focused on, but sometimes I don't necessarily have a specific project related to that as I do right now. I've got my ideation. Ideation just means ideas. This is where I just throw my ideas because yeah, I have ideas all the time. I think anyone who runs their own business, you know, your brain never stops coming up with ideas. Online courses, this is where I keep a lot of my course development documents. I got my personal development here <clears throat> planning which is nothing in there now because I've now come we're now starting the new year and I've moved those things out into my personal development area podcast again this is a fresh for this year uh, but it's also something that I'm going to be adding stuff to uh, social media which is stuff related to social media and workshops that I've got and my YouTube channel so those are all my areas you're obviously going to be very different I've got my resources areas here, which is stuff that I'm trying to keep. Like I've got checklists I keep in here, books that I've read, and I've got book notes, my James Bond notes, which are <laughs> a lot, uh, Korean, which is learning Korean. Mentors are people that I follow, who I learn from. Name cards, my personal stuff. These are just basically resources that I have uh, that I want to keep. And finally, the archive, which I do have an archive for 2020. 2020, 2021, which I used to call it a uh, uh, cabinet. I, I call it archive now. And I'll probably create a new archive for 2021. And of course, I've got my inbox. Now, people may ask, why are you naming these? Well, if I didn't name them, it would put it into automat uh, into alphabetical order. So just to make sure that projects are at the top, areas, resources, and archive down there. For some reason, 00, zero doesn't put things at the top. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So there you go. I can play around with the order, by the way. You can just go into here and you can get date created, title going up, so I can switch it round, or title going down, 
but for some reason inbox doesn't go uh, by up to the top with zero zero so there you go I don't know why but it doesn't really matter because my inbox is there right there in my shortcuts my shortcuts is probably the most important thing which is this week and as you can see this week is actually a label I don't particularly well I can show you what's in there so in here I just have the stuff that I regularly follow use every single day or something that I'm working on at the moment so I have Saturday morning reflection time where I spend a few hours two or three hours on a Saturday morning uh, reflecting on where I am, where I want to go, etc. I got my master projects list, which is right there. So the projects that I'm working on, ideas. This is my annual planning, which is still there because I'm still still kind of finishing off. I've got my exercise objectives in there. So these things will move out uh, when I'm ready to move them out. Uh, again, this is something that I'm working on uh, a planning list for weeks. My content for the week uh, beginning next week. Uh, the 3rd of January and my newsletter editions. These are things that I'm always going to come to and it's why I have that as my number two. Current is current projects I'm working on. Again, I'm doing that by label. Anchors, these are the notes that I need to go to regularly. I, I These are like personal pin numbers, websites that I regularly go to and links that I need to copy and add to my uh, emails or things like that. I got my personal development which is one of my most important folders because I do spend a few hours each week on personal development and then I've got my coaching notebook which is where all my coaching current existing clients are in. So there you go. That's how I have my Evernote structured right now. Now over the rest of this year I will go into individually these areas and go into a bit more detail but for now I just wanted to give you an overall update of how I have my uh, Evernote structured. This is following uh, when Evernote 10 came out I decided to go in and give Evernote a real big cleanup. As you can see I actually got rid of 276 notes in my cleanup which is not bad. And I've also set up my archive for 2020. I just need to create my 2021 archive so I can drop stuff in there when they are finished. So there you go. That's really how I have Evernote structured. I'm sure it will develop because my notes apps are always developing as time goes by. But I wanted to give you a quick overview now of what I have or how I've structured my Evernote just in case it gives you some ideas. And by the way, before I finish, if you are interested in learning more about Tiago Forte's para organization system, I will put a link to the a wonderful blog post he wrote about it that you can get from the bottom in the notes of this video. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching this episode and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work and that's what the time sector system is all about it's going to change your whole belief system about way the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when when you are going to do the task and let's be honest it doesn't matter how motivated inspired or how urgent something is if you don't have time to do it it is never going to get done and that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.